Hi, in this video I will talk about case 5 of portfolio theory. Uh, just to remind you, case 5 is where the losses x1 to xn are dependent random variables and n is the number of investments is a fixed number. So the first variable I'm going to look at is the total portfolio loss. So the CDF of S, the notation as usual is this. And by definition, you can write it like the probability that capital S less than or equal to a fixed little s. Now this is equal to the integral over the region that over this region of of this, which is, you may recall this from the previous video when I talked about the, the preliminaries for case 5 and case 6. What you have here is the, what you have here is the joint is the joint PDF. Um, of the random variable x1 to xn. Right? And I talked about this in the previous video. <coughs> and the PDF of the total portfolio loss is simply the derivative of the of the CDF, okay, okay, all right, so this is variable A. Before I move on to variable, before I move to variable B, let me do just one example. So this will be uh, example number 12. Now, suppose the number of investments is 2, then the CDF of S can be written as this. It's the integral over the region that x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to S of the joint density function of x1 and x2 integrated with respect to x2 and x1. Now this uh, integral can be written as two separate integrals. So x1 going from minus infinity to plus infinity, x2 going from minus infinity to s minus x1. Okay. 
So this is the CDF of S. Now the PDF. Um, of S is the derivative of this with respect to S. So let me show you. Uh, so you take the the derivative of the CDF, right, and uh, which is which you can write like this. You can write uh, d by ds of the double integral Now you can take the integral inside, inside the outer, outer integration. So this you can write as the integral from minus to plus infinity of d by ds of the integral from minus infinity to s minus x1 Right, now if you differentiate the, the inner integral with respect to S, you will get the following. Okay. Alright, so this is the formula for the density function of the uh, of the total portfolio loss when the number of investments is two. Right, the next thing I'm going to consider is the variable B, which is the minimum portfolio loss. So it's B definition this is the probability this is less than equal to u and this you can write as one minus the probability that capital U is greater than u and this you can write as one minus the probability that the minimum of than you right and if the minimum is greater then every every variable has to be greater so this is the probability that x1 is greater than u and so on up to xn is greater than u right now you may recall this uh, from the, pr the previous video on preliminaries now what you have here is exactly the the joint survival function of x1 to xn at at u. So every every argument is equal to u. So let me let me just highlight that fact. So if you look at the previous video, you will see that this is the definition for this. at the joint survival function. Okay, so now the PDF uh, of you is 
is simply the derivative of, of the CDF. So this is minus d by du of the joint survival function. All right, so that completes variable B. Now the next variable is, um, is C, which is the maximum uh, portfolio loss. Uh, so the CDF of B is This is the notation, and this is the definition, All right? And this you can write as the max, the probability of the maximum is less than equal to V. If the maximum is less than equal, then each element, each variable has to be less than equal. So there's a probability that x1 is less than equal to v, and so on up to x, xn is less than equal to v. All right. Now, again, if you remember what we did in the previous video, you will see that what I have written here is exactly the joint CDF of X1 to Xn computed at at V, that all the arguments are equal to V. All right, so let me highlight that again one more time. So this is the joint CDF of Okay. Right. Okay. Next, the PDF um, of V is simply the derivative. The derivative of the C, uh, of the CDF, so it becomes the derivative of the of the joint CDF at x1 to, joint CDF of x1 to xn at v. Okay, so this is the third variable. All right now. Uh, before I complete case 5, I just want to do one more example. So this is example 13. Example 13. Okay. Now suppose that the number of investments is 2. And okay, and X one, X two has the joint survival function given by. Q 
given by this when uh, where x1 is is greater than 0 and x2 also greater than 0 the question is to find find the following Part one. <coughs> Excuse me, CDF of S. Part two is the PDF of S. Part three of U. Part four PDF of you. Part five is the CDF of V and finally part six PDF of of V. All right, so let's start with the first part. All right. Right. So, to apply the first part, we need to first to to do the first part. Okay. We need to use the formula which I gave you in. The previous example, you may recall that in the previous example 12, I, I showed that the CDF of S can be written as follows. Mm. This is by, okay, let me say, this is by example 12. Now, this is the joint PDF of X1 and X2. In the question, what we are given is the joint survival function. Now, if you look at one of the examples that we did in the previous video, I think it was example example 11. By example 11, where we considered the same joint survival function, we showed that we showed that the joint PDF. Uh, for the for the joint survival function considered is equal to is equal to this multiplied by okay all right now so all you have to do is, so what this implies is that, this implies that the, that the CDF of S, the, to, the total portfolio loss, is, is the integral from 0 to infinity, 0 to S minus X1 of this function. So let me write that down. So this is the 
and it's not difficult to integrate this, but but it will take some time. So I will leave this as an exercise for you. And so uh, please work this out. Right. So that's the CDF. Now part two. So part two is to find the PDF of S, right? And again, if we okay, again you should you should look at uh, example twelve, the previous example we did. Okay, I showed you that that the PDF of S when you have two investments can be written as this. So, so what we have is the following. We have the integral from zero to infinity of one plus uh, one plus one plus theta x one one plus theta s minus x1 right, minus theta oh I made a mistake sorry excuse me there shouldn't be a one here my apologies for that okay uh, this multiplied by multiplied by E minus X1 minus S minus X1 minus theta X1 S minus X1 integrated with respect to X S1 X1 alright and uh, it's not I mean difficult to do the integration but I mean, there are a few things will cancel here. For example, minus x1 will cancel with minus x1, and e of minus s, e of uh, power minus s, you can pull it outside. So, so what you have is e of minus s uh, integral from zero to infinity of the following. You have. Right, um, and multiply by e of minus theta x1 s minus x1 integrated with respect to x1. Now this integral once again is not difficult to calculate but because of time I will leave this for you to do so please Please try to try to work this out by by yourself when you have time. So that's part two. Um, now part three. Part three of the example is is to find is to find the CDF. Of you, so that's you should look at the formula that I gave you in this video. The CDF of U is given by this. All right. So, so this is simply one minus e minus u minus u minus theta u squared. 
So this is 1 minus e minus 2u minus theta u squared. So that's easy. The next part, part 4, is to find the PDF of u. So which is simply the derivative of the of this guy here. Now if you differentiate this, you will get two times one plus theta u times e minus two u minus theta u squared. So that's the PDF of u. And the next part is to find the CDF of V. You should look at the formula that I gave you a few slides ago in this video, you will see this is the formula for for the CDF of V, right? And this you can write as as follow, as follows. This is one of the relationships I gave you in the previous video which expresses the joint CDF in terms of the joint survival functions. Right? You probably remember this. Okay, so this will become 1 minus E, this is E minus V, E minus V plus E minus V minus V minus theta v squared. So what you have is 1 minus 2 e minus v plus e minus 2 v minus theta v squared. So this is the CDF. Finally, part 6, the, the PDF of v is the derivative of this okay you get minus two So this is the PDF of the maximum portfolio loss. And that completes the example 13, also completes case 5 of portfolio theory. In the next video, I will consider case 6 of portfolio theory, which will be the final of the six cases.